Coming up today on YOLO Texas. It's a perfect way to make a weekend of it when you come and visit Winsboro. And there's plenty to do, there's plenty to eat. So we're here at the Pearland Town Center. We have a lot of locally owned stores. Definitely something that you want to check out. We are literally just 2.2 square miles. We're fortunate to have family-friendly entertainment venues in our city. Join us on our trip across Texas. Thank you so much for having me. And you came with a drink. This is the place to be. My husband Derek and I opened Haven's Cafe here in Winsboro uh, back in June of 2022. We're just so excited to have the opportunity to be able to share our dream with others and, and serve. That's what we love to do. It's kind of like when cheers meets friends, we say. <laughs> our servers know half our folks' orders before they even get to the table. And it's like our friends come and visit us all day long. You've got all kinds of drinks, but you got the good food too, huh? Yes, absolutely. We got lots of great stuff for you to try. Ooh, what do we have here? All right, so here we have our blueberry stuffed French toast. Stuffed. Let's check this out. Calories don't count here, right? No. Okay, no, good, good, absolutely good. Absolutely not. <laughs> that is delicious. I heard that your chicken fried steak is a staple here. We use Akiyushi beef. It's hand breaded. We use a creamy maple sausage gravy on there. Here we go. Mm. Sorry, I'm trying not to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> but it's just so good. Who's Haven? Haven is our daughter. That was part of how we got the name, but also we just love the meaning behind Haven being a safe place. Well, I know you have two kiddos. Mm -hmm. Does the other kiddo get jealous? That he does not. He's like, where's my restaurant? No, he's, he's pretty chill. He thinks someday he's getting Hinton Steakhouse. So oh. he's waiting patiently for Hinton Steakhouse. Smart kid. <laughs> so we've made our way through the menu, but can we end with dessert? Absolutely. Oh, yay. This is our signature bread pudding with a caramel sauce. You have to enjoy this with I me. I would I felt love so to. I was hoping you'd in. invite me. <laughs> I could just bathe in that sauce. <laughs> right? That is so good. I am not gonna leave the table until I finish that. Does that sound okay? Yes. Okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. Every time I come to Winsboro, I go somewhere new, I meet new people. It's so eclectic and refreshing. But if someone hasn't been here to Winsboro, how would you describe it to them? I would definitely say eclectic was a, a good word for that. We're surrounded by this really rich farming community, and then we have a very rich artisan and arts community. And we all come together, and we make this place that we call Winsboro. It's a good place to be. And there's plenty to do, there's plenty to eat. Let's oh. talk a little bit about, especially downtown Winsboro, tell us a little bit about the food scene here. And that is also very eclectic. Everything from Maria's Taqueria and Haven's Cafe to over here to Sinclair and a very old gas station. We've got Daniel with Taco Dive, I tell you, he's got some of the best tacos. There's quite a variety. There's something for everyone's palate here, but Speaking of palettes, no pun intended, <laughs> uh, but the art scene here is is really surprising. It is. When it comes to the festivals, we have the Art and Wine Festival and Book Festival and we have parades. There is something here for everybody. <laughs> That's the, uh, the best way to put it. I've been fortunate enough to stay here at the Oakley Mansion, this beautiful B&B. Can you tell me a little bit about this space? It was built just after the turn of the century, after the early 1900s, and it's become a B&B. &B. It just kind of melds right into the history of everything that we've got going on. 
It's a perfect way to make a weekend of it when you come and visit Winsboro. Thank you so much for having us here again. Oh, uh, we're so excited to have you here. So enjoy. right into your kitchen here at Taco Dive because I heard I need to try your food, so. You definitely need to try some stuff. We're gonna start you off with some brisket queso. House made queso, made fresh every day. And it has brisket in it? It's going to, yes ma'am. Do y'all make the brisket in house too? Yes ma'am. You wanna add some brisket? Big ol' help in the brisket. I like it. Right in there. So this is typically what what someone would start with when they Yeah, come this to is a you. starter. Okay. okay. If you want to munch on this, why I throw together a shrimp taco. This is the perfect way to start my meal. Uh, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm ready to try. Ready? Can, can we take this stuff out there? Find Let's a seat. Eat. Yeah. Let's, Let's eat. eat. Let's do it. I'll grab All this. All right. You got it. Yes, ma'am. Daniel, you brought a lot of extra tacos for me we today. We did, we got a variety for you. This burrito is what I've had my eye on. Normally I wouldn't cut a burrito right in the middle, but I want a bite with a little bit of everything. Here we go. Looks delicious. Oh, that's so good. And the fresh pico de gallo and all mm -hmm. of it. It's delicious. That really makes it. You know, there's been a, a debate in Texas on who has the best tacos. That's taco like dive. a, <laughs> but why get into the taco game? Like what made like, you start Taco Dive? Who doesn't love tacos? I'm such a foodie, I, like yeah, I love yeah. food. <laughs> I love to put things together and people are like, oh, I don't know if that works. It's like, just try it the way it comes. Yeah. If you don't like it, I'll buy it and you can get we'll you something it. that you want. Yeah. Even if you're not in a taco mood, we still have fried chicken we put nice. on our tacos. But you know what we're missing though? A drink. Can we get some drinks? Yes. Can we get some cocktails? <laughs> Ooh, Lovely yummy. Brittany bringing Thank us you, cocktails. Brittany. This is my fave. You've got to try this. And that's a if full you like a little spice, that is a full serrano. <laughs> okay. Not for the faint. I'll take on the challenge. Oh, that's good. That's good, right? Yeah. People are always passing through town and they stop because of that sign. And they get in, they love the food, they love the drinks, yeah. and uh, we love having them in. I enjoy talking to you, but. I, I gotta get started if I'm gonna finish all to these tacos. For sure. Thanks for coming, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Find out why Pearland is picture perfect next on Yellow Texas. was actually formed back in the late 1800s and at that time fruit bearing pear trees were abundant in the city. We no longer have fruit bearing trees but we do have these beautiful painted pears that are found throughout the city just kind of as a nod to our history. How has the city grown because I'm looking around and it's absolutely crazy how much it evolved throughout the decades. We've had phenomenal growth over the years. We have a very diverse population here in our city with all of our shops and our restaurants and amazing events that we have throughout the year, including music to my beers and the Pearland Art and on the Pavilion event as well. So what can families do when they come to visit Pearland? We have all sorts of family friendly activities. Birding is really big in our city, which people don't expect because we're in such an urban setting, and then when you go into the pockets near our nature center, you feel like you really can connect with nature. We do have a mural tour that we feature really? on our website. And there's a combination of outdoor and indoor, and we're hoping to see that really grow and take off. Then also, we have um, great cuisine offerings, everything from um, Malaysian, Mediterranean, Mexican. One of our newly opened spots, Grace Market, also locally owned, and they have a really fantastic patio area where they can offer live music. That's incredible. Where are we exactly right now? So we're here at the Pearland Town Center. It's an open air lifestyle center with retail, 
um, residential living. We have a lot of locally owned stores. So there's a few boutiques that you'll find with women's clothing and great accessories. Uh, we have a shop that's also dedicated to black owned businesses that feature several products. Oh, that's incredible. I'm so excited to get my day started here in Pearland, but is there any restaurants that you recommend for me to try today? Well, when you're in Pearland, you definitely have to try barbecue. Ooh, okay, and I would I'm totally down for that. <laughs> I would recommend Central Texas Barbecue. Um, it's not located here at the town center, but it gives you a chance to experience another area of our city, and it's definitely something that you want to check out. Black Market is a safe space for uh, black American businesses, a home where they can present their products in front of a slew of people. Of course, here in the Pearland Town Center, it's just a great place to be. And so we're able to take these businesses that may have started in uh, their garage, and now they have apparel products, skin products, and they feature right here. How did you decide, like, I want to help other black-owned businesses? Well, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of times when you're a creative, you start creating for what your community looks like. More of the community say, hey, we want to have more of these opportunities to showcase what we have to offer. And that's what we created here at Black Market. In this store, there's how many businesses here right now? How so many? currently you're looking at about 25 to 30 businesses. Really? And so some of these businesses are local, some of them are nat uh, national businesses. But then we also have some international businesses, people who move from Nigeria to America and they're trying to get that American dream. It's a cool way to be able to give these small black businesses businesses a platform where we actually are curated to them for them. Well, that's amazing. Well, I'm going to go around and do some yeah, shopping. Please do. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that I should check out first? Everything. If you look around, you see the colors. You see it's the experience when yes. you're in here. So have fun. Each section of the store where they have the products, the local business has their QR code. So you just grab your phone, scan it, and it'll take you directly to the website. Can you see the red tent? Devin, it smells absolutely amazing in here. Okay, what do you recommend for me to have? Maybe a uh, sliced brisket. Sausage is really good. The baked potato with chopped beef. It's a loaded barbecue baked potato. Oh. That's our most popular item. The Cuban style pool pork. Probably the most unique side we have is the uh, the congri. It is, uh, it's a Cuban style rice and bean dish. Wow. Oh my God. So is your family uh, from Cuban descent? My um, grandmother was from Cuba. This restaurant was originally opened in 1969. Uh, by another family, and they hired my grandmother and my mom uh, to work here. About a year after they started working here, there was an opportunity for him to try to sell it. And my grandmother was like, I'll buy it. Did she want to do barbecue when she bought the restaurant? Her and my mother always had a dream of having a restaurant together. Uh, she knew the business, she knew how to cook with wood, because in Cuba, that's um, primarily how they cook. That's amazing. This brisket, oh my God, you were not lying about the moist brisket. It is absolutely delicious. Yeah, the best looking our, thing. Yeah, that's our loaded baked potato with chopped brisket. Okay. Um, I'm definitely going to go into town. This is our most popular item for sure. Pearland's grown so much since this started. Yeah. We've tried to grow with it and we've tried to uh, just be kind of like a home away from home. Stick around, Yellow Texas. We'll be right back. There's a lot packed in here. There's a lot to do. Just how big is Shenandoah and what is it known for? One of the things that's most unique about this place is that it's got a very small, tiny footprint. We are literally just 2.2 square miles. We exist in between three exits of I-45. <laughs> you know, I often tell people it's kind of like Robin Williams. We've got a whole lot of stuff in an itty bitty living space.
have a little one of my own, I'm always searching for things to do as a family as a whole. So what can we, are, we do for the family? We're fortunate to have family-friendly entertainment venues in our city. We've got a new AMC Metro Park Square. Wow. We also have Dave and Buster's that we're gonna be going out and exploring. Yeah. And we also have an urban air trampoline and adventure park. But the great thing about this right now in the summer, especially with little ones, is that I think given the heat, you've got a place where you can go indoors, air conditioned, and have family entertainment year round. We've got options. Oh yeah, music to every parent's ears <laughs> right now. You have activities year round, not yeah. just for the winter time, but you could do it even in the hot summer heat. You get in, you can beat the heat, and you can cool off and you can stay and let that energy out. Let's talk about the AMC Theater. It is a state-of-the-art AMC. It opened in 2019. And the thing that's pretty exciting about it for us, they have an IMAX theater in it. So if you are looking to see a feature and really an immersive experience sound-wise, there's no better place. And the thing that I think that's also really great about is their feature fare menus, special ordering options for food. They've got a MacGuffin's bar. So you can go have a drink before, during, or after. It's delivered to your seat. So that's a really nice option. It makes for a really memorable experience. Absolutely. After we do that, we're gonna go explore Dave and Buster's. It's games and it's family-friendly things from the arcade perspective. But they've got virtual reality games. They have an incredible food and beverage program. And really, for young adults, they've got great sports viewing on big screens. You know, whether you're watching UFC fighting matches, baseball, football, you've got places to go take it all in. And you know Texans, we love our sports, especially football. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. If we haven't burned off enough energy, bounce away at Urban Air. It is more than a trampoline park. Oh. So we've got the trampoline aspect of it, but besides that, a huge assortment of activities and rides there as well. So when we get there, you'll see there's bumper cars, there's a climbing wall, there's an indoor zip line track that you can do. So I think you're going to have a really good time getting out there and experiencing it and hopefully doing a little bit of the riding yourself. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Um, this is all news to me, so I'm excited to actually go jump around and play myself because it's not just for the kids. Adults can play too. We can Absolutely. be kids for the kids at heart as well. Stay right where you are. Our time in Shenandoah bounces on after the break. Accommodations were provided by Aloft Hotels in Shenandoah. I don't know how you can walk into a Dave and Buster's and not get extremely happy when you see the bright lights, you hear all the sounds. This is a gamer's paradise to be here at Dave and Buster's. So tell us a little bit about what we can do at the one here in Shenandoah. Well, and it's not only a, a, a gamer's paradise, it's an adult paradise. Yeah. Uh, you'd be surprised how many adults walk through and their eyes light up like, like, it's, like it's Christmas, right? Yeah. The biggest thing that makes us unique is that we are almost 100% of the time on a different menu. Uh, we have the opportunity to be a test kitchen for the company. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 155 stores in the company, and there's 10 test kitchens currently, and we are one of them. Stores. Really? Yeah, so we're always testing new items you think is delicious and it should go on our menu. I absolutely love it because it's it's something that's quick and it's fun and it's yeah. easy to eat, it's light, it's not super heavy, but man, y'all pack in the flavor when y'all do flavor, it too. Yeah. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm a huge sports fanatic. So when I walked in and I saw all those TV screens yeah. and even the projectors, yeah. it was a dream. We actually have the ability to show every game all at once. Obviously, you can play games. We have over 140 different titles. Yeah. I mean, it's a good place to, to sit back, relax with your friends, with your family, with your neighbors, whatever. I'm a competitive spirit by nature. Game Thank time? You. Game time. Wow, I've never experienced anything like this before. We have the 
world's largest Pac-Man is that one right there. Let's do it. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> oh! You know, I have been to trampoline parks before but this is so much more than that. So tell us what all we can do right here at Urban Air in Shenandoah. So here at Urban Air, it's the ultimate indoor adventure park. We have attractions that cater to any level of adventure, so it's fun for the whole family. Yeah. We have attractions for the little ones, five years old and younger. We have a playground full of tubes, slides, little swings they can go through. We also have a trampoline area designated just for the little ones. The kids looking to get into some real summer fun, they can hop in the dodgeball area. They can go through the warrior course, see how their balance is and their coordination. They can go on our apex area, see if they can do flips and tricks, and then the same thing in our pro zone with extra bouncy trampolines. Ooh, fun. Okay, and I'm gonna even take it up another level for the kids at heart. What can, can us adults do or parents do while we're out here? Urban adults Air? are more than welcome to do anything in the park. If they're looking for some extra fun, we have our Skyrider zip line that the parents can enjoy. It takes you around the park, lets you see all the other attractions in the park. We also have our ropes course where you can weave and climb your way around this gravity defying area that's above the rest of the park. You only live once, baby. Let's go. Thank you.